interesting. First night in my little transporter hire camper. Thanks to these guys. Always wondered what all the hype was about. I never really fancied them, but if I'm honest, I've had a really good night's sleep, so maybe everybody was full of shit. Here we are at Stannern. Beautiful sunny day for the official BSB test. My good mate Neil is on his phone again. Morning, Morning Neil. Sorry, I've got the bikes out. You've got your other, loaded. your other team. Uh, I won't be taking this off because I haven't got any team clothing. But, uh, officially, I don't have any clothing. Are you going to smile so, today? Yeah, I'm smiling now. Inside? Yeah. <laughs> Grumpy, get the coffees on! You won't do without any power. Oh, has the generator gone off? Anyway, the weather is nice. It's a bit fresh, probably like five, six degrees, but it's, uh, it's not raining, which is a positive. Latte, please. Sir, Graham is the top barista in our team. Would you class that as your title? No. Number one barista? Number one everything. Number <laughs> Two very boring minutes later. Looks like a fried egg. Anyway, cheers Grumpy. Mm. Now the day can start. Yeah, it was pretty much that slow that I might as well have stayed in the truck. <laughs> Strong reminder, kids, that you don't always need to change the bike. Some, but if not, we'll try and sneak into a few garages and see what see what people have been up to. <laughs> so, pretty similar thing to uh, Silverstone last week, first session. Track's a bit patchy, not really patchy, it's just quite cold, so it's taking a bit of time to um, the time to dry out. So we're gonna miss out the first session because it's just no point trying to yeah, I can feel comfortable enough on the bike now and there's nothing really to be gained by riding in cold, damp conditions. It, sometimes it even ends up slowing you down because you end up riding to that sort of pace and then it's harder to get back into having the confidence that you had at the last meeting and stuff. So I'm just going through some of my kit stuff now. Uh, getting ready so for when the for when the next session starts, we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, just getting all laid out, and that handy little thing I've got a little suit just designed for drying your suit. But I use it in these conditions to to warm the suit up, so it's got a heater, inbuilt heater and stuff. So then when you put the suit on, it's nice and warm. So yeah, hopefully we get out for the next session and a bit of proper dry track time and get get cracked on. So first session done, um, yeah I was pretty much that slow that I might as well have stayed in the truck. <laughs> yeah it's, uh, it's quite cold out there and I think I got into the cycle of letting the tyre temperature go down, had a little bit of cold tear and then just couldn't get the heat back in the tyre, just not a very nice feeling, the bike was rolling around quite a lot. So um, yeah I'm old enough now and I've been around long enough to know that it doesn't need anything changing on the bike, we just need to go out and get the heat in straight away. And, and the feel will be good like we had at Silverstone. So um, that's the plan of attack for the next session. No changes or anything, just go again. I think we've got a new rear tire um, because that one's done some, some laps at Silverstone and today. And plus it's quite badly tore with cold tear, which is what happens when the, the temperature goes down and the surface temperature is quite low. So that is the plan of attack for session two. And let's hope we're more towards BBC one than BBC two. That is the plan.
turns out I haven't forgot how to ride a motorbike and we are back towards the front. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Um, ended up P3 in that session. Got cut short a little bit at the end because the rain came back in, but the feeling is back again that we had it, um, so, so much is good. Made absolutely no changes to the bike whatsoever. Um, put a tyre in obviously just because the other one was tore and, and done. But as far as settings go, no changes whatsoever and went considerably a big chunk quicker and ended up third in the session. So that is a strong reminder, kids, that you don't always need to change the bike. Sometimes there is other issues, whether it be the rider or the temperature or whatever else. So yeah, you don't always need to make changes. And being a little bit older and a bit mature, more mature, um, gives you that sort of knowledge to do that. But yeah, so a bit happier now, bike feels pretty much as good as what it did at Silverstone, we've got some changes but like I said again the weather is looking great, I think there's some big dark clouds and stuff coming in so that might be all we get to do We get to do for today but as always I'll keep you updated and let's see what see what happens, hopefully we get out again and hopefully it warms up a little bit but it's what it is. The next session which should be the third one um, we're going to actually make a small change to the bike and you have to be careful sometimes when like we're still a couple of seconds off the pace of what I was like running at the frontier last year and you can almost set the bike up for going slow so you have to be careful with that as well. So we're going to keep trying to ride to the limit of what the feeling I have and then make some little tweaks just to get us them last few steps and hopefully back to the top of the time sheet. So see what happens. Dog shit. It's raining quite a lot and it's looking quite great and it's given more rain for the rest of the day. So that's pretty much proceedings fooked for today. We'll go see who we can chat to and what they're doing. Get out! Not today. He's trying to get on my channel again. Please subscribe to Taylor McKenzie. Like Look, he's got another new camera. <laughs> Stop lying, yours is on order too. Right, that's it. I'm getting the camera off Taylor's mum. That is it. Get out of the way. Where's your mask? Where's your mask? I look even better on your camera than mine. I, I recorded all this the last day and the fucking sound didn't work on the camera. So all them compliments I was giving you, there's not the helmet's already here. This is the Shoei truck, by the way, and Taylor shouldn't I'm be in just here. Filming your truck, uh, your, um, My what? Helmet. Stop getting. It. Huh? I'm not in here. You're breaking COVID rules now. Tyler, you're not privy to tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Just he'll, that he'll, still take, cash. he'll still take. He'll still take free cash, stuff. Mate. Hold on. <laughs> this is the best drawer in here. I didn't know you. I didn't know you went on holiday with Jen. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Don't get that on camera. <laughs> I was waiting myself. That was a good picture that was to be fair. Taz's idea. Oh my Taz, I like that So this is actually... Basically the other day at the Silverstone test I recorded a full video and the speaker wasn't plugged in so it all went to shit. But I was basically telling how good a job Paul does. This is So basically in a race weekend normally and now it's in... Oh, it's a bit dirty. Now we're at the test, um, he takes care of our helmets for the whole whatever days we're here, uh, whether it be wet, dry, whatever. And he's basically just serviced mine that I had on me earlier because it got a bit wet, put some new tear-offs on it, and then I've brought in a wet visor as well. So it's all ready to go, because um, he's not here tomorrow because he's a part-time Pete. <laughs> So I'm here bigging you up uh, and you've let me down. And sorry mate, like an old pair of tugs. Yeah, like but tugs. yeah, awesome service and we'd be fooked without it. So you can normally tell how cheap a rider is by the amount of stickers they have on their visor because they just sell themselves. This is obviously Taylor's visor. Oh, look at the mount on this one. Has to be. Glen Irwin. Glen Irwin's visor. He'd sell his soul. Oh, hold on. Oh, is there nothing in that one? These guys would sell themselves as well. Who else is there? Ben Curry, Andy Irwin. Oh, no. Is Glen's in. The oh, that's Andrew's, is it? Andrew and Glen. 
Yeah. Yeah. See, on a par, lads. Three stickers each. On the riser. Don't stretch him. Oh, sorry. Both sold themselves, haven't they? Oh, Paul's going to tell me off now. No, you're on, mate. Sorted. Who's in there? We got there. We got Luke Mossy, Lee Johnson. Oh, I've got yeah. four. That's even. Davy Todd. Uh, ben Curry. What's he got on there? Kamazaki. Yeah, them his old stickers. He's got new. Oh, he's got that van. New sponsors now. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Got Same anything name. else? Oh, the yeah, most important part of the shop. <laughs> Always good sweets in here. Right, is that me sorted? Yes, mate. You've got two two players in there, mate, and you've got uh, your two tear off. One with the two tear offs on as well. Cool. Thank you very much. Okay, mate. See you later, boys. We'll see you at. Uh, I see. See you at Oton Park. All right, mate. What should we do? Take care. Okay. Thanks. So, uh, next day now. Obviously, it was a two-day test. Um, it's about another another night in my luxury. Luxury motorhome mixed things up last night, thought I'd have a little kip on the top bed. Yeah, even comfier than the bottom bed. So, winning, just about to grab some breakfast now. Good old oats, so simple. We normally have hospitality and stuff, but the truck is just here and not the actual seating area and everything, so the guy can't make, the guy can't make porridge and everything, he can just make sort of like breakfast baps and stuff, so a bit safer with the old, uh, the old porridge oats, but. These fatties will be hoofing down there. What are you having for breakfast, Peyton? Um, oh, not that. Oh, Rob, just, he's doing this just for the camera, isn't he? Yeah, we'll look after you. <laughs> what are you having? Sausage, bacon, egg, <laughs> ash brown, probably, mate. <laughs> Quality diet. So, yeah, the, the weather is getting... I think it's, it's given worse now than what it did yesterday, isn't it? Right, 8, 7, 8, 11 o'clock, but it's colder, right? nah. it's, it's colder today, it got right down to like minus one I think last night and it's given, the track's obviously still wet from yesterday and it's given, um, it's given rain for our 11 o'clock. So the chances of anything happening today are pretty slim. But if not, we'll try and sneak into a few garages and see what, see what people have been up to and what they've been testing or trying to test or want to test or what's been happening. Been tucked in here. <laughs> Make the noise then. Eh? Run. <laughs> <laughs> we got to come back. Sounds like Jesse. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you Just for you, are you a YouTuber? Are you a YouTuber? <laughs> oh, yeah. What, are you, you on YouTube? The tire pressures? Or is that for the petrol? Uh, <clears throat> petrol gauge? The thing is. The thing is. <laughs> It'd be alright if it was bigger because I can't see it. <laughs> I'm be trying to get a big one. <laughs> uh, not sure what Is he allowed to go on it? Is he allowed to go on it? I thought it was a musical <laughs> instrument. Something to pack your gear away, Lee. So after Dindins, we can get the bikes in, please. Thank you, Lee. Is that it? Finished, Neil? I don't think anybody's going out unless you want to. Why have to? That is it. Test test done. Um, track temperature is about three degrees, four degrees. It's raining. It's raining. So I think that's pretty much it. Test done. We've had a couple of laps in the dry yesterday. Um, obviously the feeling got a lot better in the second session once we got a bit of heat into the tires and stuff. So that's probably the only positive we can we can take away from here. We had good pace here last year and stuff, so we haven't really got a lot to test. Obviously we want to improve that, but you're not going to do that in these temperatures. So that's pretty much it, the end of the test. So a bit of a waste of time really, but the only good thing was I got to spend a bit more time with Neil. <laughs> Early. Have you enjoyed seeing me, Neil? I always enjoy seeing you, Lee. Loves me, really. So yeah, just pack up, pack up some kit now and hit the road. I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I don't know what the next vlog is going to be about, but stay tuned and you'll find out. <laughs>